What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop, the weekly show where I let you know what games are coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the PC, the Switch, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them all right here. This week we have Sea of Solitude, an indie headlining our lineup, but without further ado, let's go ahead and break down all of the games coming out this week. To kick things off, we have Sea of Solitude coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. When humans get too lonely, they turn into monsters. Set sail across a beautiful and evolving world of darkness and light and discover what it means to be a human. Sea of Solitude takes you on a personal journey of a young woman's loneliness. Set sail across a beautiful and evolving world where nothing is quite what it seems. Meet fantastical creatures and monsters, learn their stories, and solve challenges. Explore a flooded city either by boat, on foot, or by swimming through the water itself. Dare to look what lies beneath the surface in a haunting struggle of darkness and light and discover what it truly means to be human. Sea of Solitude made waves a couple of years back when it was revealed at E3 as an EA original. Of course, for those that don't know, EA is trying to get into the indie side of the industry instead of being associated with stuff primarily like Battlefield, FIFA, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Specifically Star Wars Battlefront 2, let's get away from that, but that's beside the point. This is a pretty interesting indie game that has a good bit of backing, so it's probably going to be a pretty well drawn out experience. So if you do want to play a game in which you explore an emotional journey that takes place in this metaphorical city, in which there is a flood and you have to fight the monsters from within, then by all means you can check out Sea of Solitude when it comes out this week on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Next up we have Stranger Things 3 The Game coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. Stranger Things 3 The Game is the official companion game to Season 3 of the hit original series. Play through familiar events from the series while also uncovering never before seen quests, character interactions, and secrets. This adventure game blends a distinctively retro art style with modern gameplay mechanics to deliver nostalgic fun with a fresh new twist. So for those that don't know, Stranger Things is basically one of Netflix's most popular original shows that has ever hit the small screen and of course it has a huge following but a couple of years back we did see the release of a stranger things game and i personally thought that it was a gimmick coming out of the gate but the more that you played it the more you realized there was actually something there fast forward a couple of years now we have stranger things 3 the game and it looks to have taken those foundational elements and just fleshed them out and made a really really interesting looking game now make no mistake it is driven by nostalgia and that retro vibe so you might not necessarily be a big fan of it but if you do like those couple of elements and you are a big fan of stranger things Things, or at least marginally interested in Stranger Things, then this could be one worth checking out this week. And again, it is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. Next up, we've got Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. Taking place throughout Attack on Titan Season 3 timeline, Final Battle Story Mode plays through selected characters' points of view with major heroes active in Season 3. Now playable for the first time, boosting the total number of playable characters to over 40. In addition to the content covering all three seasons, of the popular anime series, developers will also include original episodes to create a more fulfilling Attack on Titan experience. Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle will feature two new gameplay experiences, a frantic anti-personnel combat feature using anti-personnel omnidirectional mobility gear and an all-new wall reclamation mode focusing on recovering outside territories. Here players will have an ability to choose a leader of their squad, pick out the members they want to include, even members who were never together in the original work, and set out to reclaim the lands from the Titans. Thunder Spears will also be equipped for battle for the first time, allowing the takedown of the Armored Titan when a normal blade just won't cut it. Attack on Titan is a hugely popular anime across the world, but now we have the release of Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle, which is a bit confusing because we have Attack on Titan 2 that's already out, generally hovering around $25. Now we have Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle, which if the name leads me to believe what I believe correctly, I think this is a complete edition, but I'm not entirely sure. However, just so you know, it does cost 60 bucks, so hopefully you will get some bang for your buck because that's a lot of bones to cough up for something like this. Of course, this is going to cater very much so to fans of the show, so if you do like Attack on Titan, you might want to check out Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle when it comes out this week on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. To round out today's show, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First off, What Remains of Edith Finch and Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered Edition are both coming out on the Nintendo Switch, and Ovivo is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch as well. And of course, this is basically a puzzle game that uses perspective and beautiful art drawings to essentially draw you 
you in. Very cool looking game indeed. But that rounds out today's episode of The Drop. Of course, if you are new here, let me know in the comment section down below what games caught your eye. But this show is hosted every single Sunday right here on youtube.com slash Samuel Adams Media. So subscribe for more and check out the podcast, which is hosted throughout the week. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. Enjoy July 4th if you are here in the States. And peace.